darling. How are you? I love you. Thank you. Your love is not wasted. Oh. I feel every, every ounce of it. Thank you so much. And that's how I feel today. I said, you know, sometimes if you hang long enough, mm. you convince them you're worth it. You do not need to convince anyone. Anyone. <laughs> Thank Just saying. You. Thank Let's talk you. about this amazing reel of yours. Oh, you've seen it. Uh, many times. Oh. <laughs> I watched it live. I watched it for the, my voting. I watched for all sorts of shenanigans. Stop. Yeah, it's. I'm, I'm proud of it. You should be. I'm proud of it. You know, and the most important part is you realize as different as we are, we're pretty much the same pain. Mm. You know, that women wear pain pretty much the same way. And they come up to you and say, something like that might have happened to a friend of mine. And you say, yeah, you know. Well, but, the, the, yeah. that's something like that. Let's, I mean, we have to tell people, what is, what is it that was going on in Vivian's life? Well, obviously, it wasn't going on in my life. Well, it was no, going on in my husband's okay, life. That's true. That's, yeah. no, that's true. He got a little out there and... Uh, you know what they always say, well, you didn't pay me enough attention. Mm -hmm. Men need a lot of attention and a lot of punishment. Mm -hmm. You have to keep a strong eye on them. You really <laughs> do. <laughs> they can't help it. They're little like puppies. Uh, okay. They'll pee pee right. on the floor if oh. you let them. You got to oh. let them out the door. Okay. But anyway, um, the big crisis came in because it wasn't about him as much as, it, like you said, it was about Vivian. Mm -hmm. And you start reviewing all the sacrifices you make for somebody who might not be as honorable as you thought they were. And it was a lot of guilt, I think, that was going on with her about rejecting her, her gay mm -hmm. child, you mm -hmm. know, from birth and, and how she had to protect her and how she had to deny her, supposedly to keep this fantasy intact family. Mm. And when you realize, oh my God, I think that was the most painful moment that you, I'm starting to cry now. Oh, please stop. No, because you look beautiful. I don't want you to no, melt. No, no, but the, the, the truth is that you say, I paid that price for this. Mm. And you realize no child is worth sacrificing. Mm. Every child is worth loving. You know, and yeah. every child, as I say, and I don't, I'm not throwing the term out lightly, but every child is a special needs child hmm. because every child is different and individual and every child needs something that you as a parent, as a mother, which I can only be, has to look and see what that person needs. And the wonderful part that we don't have to go to marriage boot camp, family edition. We solved it without that much therapy. <laughs> and my kids don't hate me. You know, that's the two plus. most gorgeous women in the world. We talked to one. Oh, my God. That's right. You saw Miss Rain. Here. She's coming down now. Great. But that's the best part. That, and I think when people watch and why the show is so universal is other people watch and say, oh, if they can do it, so can I. I've got a couple other things. I rumor uh, has it that you're working on a series yes. with an amazing other icon of television. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this. Now, are you talking about the series Jalen versus Everybody? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, do you have more than one thing going on? Well, you never know. <laughs> you never know. And I'm Lamont's mother on a New Girl. Okay. Yes, yes. but I have a series okay. that hopefully will be on in the fall on ABC. Called Jalen versus everybody. With Marla. And now, yes, with Marla Gibbs that is what and Jalen Rose. Yes. And uh, I'm working with all the, the baseball boys. Okay. There's the seven feet men, so I have oh. to keep looking up. Okay. And but the wonderful part is I'm so old, I tell them, I say, just let me touch you. I can't I can't give you a baby. So I'm I'm safe, okay? So I can hug and kiss and the muscles and the this and I'm safe. Uh -oh. You know, and they said, well, you grew, I grew up with you. I said, okay, baby, all right. You know, they, the little boys, and now they're big men. So that's the best part. And Maul and I had a good time. I can't wait. We I had need to see a this. good I need to time. See this. Right. No, she's on her toes, honey. That's okay. Maul ain't plugging. Now, before I let you go, I am yes. asking the people that I interview to give me a question to ask to the next person that I interview. I have no idea who it will be. So, Ooh. what's your question? Oh, 
Well, she speaks Spanish. Ask her. Does she ever act in English? <laughs> I love it. May it. Not be <laughs> it, could, it could be Carla could come down here. Well, hey, Carla, Carla, do you ever do you act in English? <laughs> yeah. Carla is the hardest working actress I have ever seen. This girl goes from 35 million a day to 40 seat theaters. She has a love for this business like no other. Okay. You know, I would like to know what's the greatest satisfaction she gets okay. after performance. I really want to know cuz in TV we don't have we don't get it. We get it after. You know, we get it tonight, yep. we get it when the fans come up to you. But ask her what is that that she feels in a theater when she does theater? Absolutely. Thank you. I will do it. I'm so glad I I'm came to so speak to you. So glad that you're here. I mean, if you have to. Yes. Or you know, the next time around. <laughs>